What is your role on the show? Uh, so my role on the show, I look after all of the puppets. So I've designed all the puppets that are in the show and then I've directed all of the actors, all of the performers that have to operate them to make sure that they look like they're really, really alive and, um, and nice and deadly. Those lizards, they're very, very, very scary. Um, how did you get this job? How did I get this job? Good question. Um, so I worked with um, Adam, the director, a while ago and he asked me back, he asked me to come and work with him again on this show um, and he's a brilliant director, he's made a brilliant, brilliant show with loads of different things in um, and so because I've worked a lot with puppets in the past, um, he asked me if I could come and lend a hand and I'm really, really glad I did. What puppets did you make for the show? What puppets did I make for the show? Loads. So we've got some lizards, we've got some snakes, we've got a tarantula and a few other bits and bobs but I'll keep those as a surprise. Um, but they're all brilliantly, brilliantly made and they're all beautifully uh, brought to life by all the actors. So you kind of forget that they're puppets and suddenly you just see a spider crawling across the stage. It's great. And um, how long did it take to make the pu puppets and what was the trickiest part about them? <sighs> Well, it sort of took us, gosh, probably two months to make all of the different puppets. Um, but we were making lots of other things as well in the show, all of the other props and things. Um, one of the tricky things, actually, is making sure that the puppets look like they're sort of scary enough and look like they're easy enough to be able to be manipulated by the actors. If they're very tricky to operate, then they don't look very real. So what we had to do was during rehearsals, we had to work a lot with the actors to work out the best way to make the, um, make the puppets so that they look as believable as possible. What do you enjoy about your job? What do I enjoy about my job? Well, I think it's probably working with the actors during rehearsals because we get to spend a lot of time playing and working out how to do the scenes and then being able to put the show in front of the audience and seeing the audience's reaction. Um, the audiences absolutely love Holes. They think it's really, really great. And when they see all of the, um, all of the puppets come out from, the, out from the stage, it's really exciting. So what do you think the puppets add to the show? Lots. I think the puppets add lots and lots to this show. It makes it really, really exciting to see because you see all of these different animals that you wouldn't normally see in a theatre. So you see a big scary snake, you see tarantulas, you see lizards. Um, and it also adds a really, really fun aspect to the show because it means as an audience you have to really engage your imagination and then suddenly all of these different things come to life. Um, it's really, really fun to see all of those things come to life life and the actors do such a brilliant job with them um, but it just helps us tell the story the best that we possibly can. What puppet from when you were my age um, inspired you? Oh well when I was little I used to watch the Thunderbirds a lot now, I think now the Thunderbirds are all CGI, they're all computer generated, but when I watched them, they were all string puppets and they all sort of walked very, very sillily with their arms up. But they were really, really clever in how they made them all work. And they built all of these brilliant sets, all these sort of almost like spaceships and hovercrafts and things that they all worked in. Um, but yeah, now I think they're all computer generated. But the Thunderbirds were my favorite. What other puppets have you worked with? I've worked with lots of puppets. So I, um, I trained as an actor a long time ago, um, but now I've worked with all sorts. I've worked with the big, big horses in War Horse. I've done all of the puppetry for them and I do all of the puppet direction for that show. And I'm also now currently working on The Lion King. So we're using all of those different puppets in there that create you know, all of the different animals in Africa. So um, I've worked a lot with all sorts of different puppets and I really, really love it because it's really exciting and you get to um, you get to sort of create new stories and tell new things that you can't do with a person um, because a puppet can fly or can swim, it can do all sorts of different things that um, a person, it's much harder for them to do on stage but a puppet, you can do anything. How do you think our school will react to the puppets in the show? Well, hopefully, you'll all really, really like them. Um, we, because we've got so many different puppets on stage, hopefully, hopefully they'll all sort of come to life and you'll really enjoy them. But uh, because we've got some spiders, are you scared of spiders? No. Are you scared of spiders? OK, so we'll have to see if, who's got the loudest scream when the spiders come out. <laughs> have you been to 
Blackpool Grand before and what was your experience? I have. I've been, I came a few years ago um, and I had a really, really good time. It's a beautiful theatre. The auditorium is absolutely stunning, isn't it? It's really, really pretty. Um, a bit like this, it's all very, it's sort of very ornate and, and sort of magical. Um, and yeah, I had a brilliant time. Blackpool's great, isn't it? Um, and I can remember I was up there during, uh, during Christmas and it was really, really magical. I watched the Christmas show there and it was great fun. How did you get into puppetry? How did I get into puppetry? Well, when I was at school, um, I had a really, really brilliant drama teacher, and she told me to go to go to go to drama school. So I went to drama school and I trained as an actor. Um, and then I did a few bits and bobs on telly and a few other bits and things like that. But then I got an audition for Warhorse, um, a big, big show in in London's West End, and I was really lucky. And I got the job. Um, and then I learnt everything that I know really about puppetry on the job. Um, so it proves you don't have to go to sort of university or anything like that. You can, you can learn so much when you're doing things practically. And I had a brilliant time on War Horse and then since then I've just done more and more shows with more and more puppets. I love them. Hi, so hopefully you'll really, really like all of the puppets that we've got in our show, but I challenge you to design your very own lizard 